Okay, and I'm just gonna just yep. talk to yep. talk. Absolutely. I'm gonna try Absolutely. to get closer yep. to the camera. Yep. Okay, and what I what what I want you to talk is right now about what you just saw okay. and what this means, and then we can talk about how it plays. You know, how, what's happening currently in, okay. in the Alberta tarp. Yep. Yep. Okay. So let's let's talk about the success of what you just saw. What happened here? Well, the hydro blasting has basically ablated and begun to separate the sand particles, which then allows the bitumen to float from within the sand. And so right now, this was quite impressive in my mind because the product that's there now is what's called a pipelineable material. And it's actually begun the separation process, okay, where the bitumen separates from the sand. Uh, in the, and this allows for what's called hydro transport of the material. And hydro transport of the material allows for a much a less expensive uh, transport of uh, the sand and the bitumen. What is this going to mean to the tar sand, oil sand business? Well, if it can be demonstrated to be economical, it will change how they actually potentially do the mining. Right now they dry mine with truck shovel, and this could offer an opportunity to wet mine. Since the process is a wet extraction process, right now they dry mine and then create a wet fluid after the fact. So this could potentially move everything to the mine face. Of course, managing the cold weather that we have in northern Canada. In, ter in terms of the environmental aspects of this, I mean, what you see here, is, is, this, is this environmentally friendly? Well, it is environmentally friendly to this point, but of course we have to see exactly how the tailings or the separated material will behave. That has been a challenge in the oil sands industry. And uh, I've seen this product used separately on uh, what's called the mature fine tails and it does bring about separation and settling of the clay but with this new material we'd have to find out what is in, in detail in it to see if, how well it operates. Well tell, tell me more about the, the, the whole process and what is required and what a product such as Petromax will bring to the table. Well right now in the oil sands industry in Alberta <coughs> they're separating in greater than 90 percent of the bitumen out of the sand. Okay. It, it, some of the operations are getting up 95, 96 percent of the resource is actually removed. This product appears to be able to do the same thing. Okay. So when you get to those levels of bitumen extraction, that is a tremendous benefit. Of course, you, you want to be able to manage what's left over after in an environmentally safe manner. And this product seems to be able to provide that opportunity compared to what is now going on with the Clark hot water process. What needs to be done to the product? I mean, I, I heard you mention that there, you're, you're going to be doing a little bit more work on it. No, what needs to well, be refined? Of course, there has to be optimization of the product. Right now, we're shearing with very high uh, velocities of water, high pressure. So there's optimization in any process has to be optimized to bring about maximum removal at lowest cost. With, not in, with ensuring that you do not have environmental issues with the end product or the waste product. Now it's my understanding that there is also valuable potential for minerals from the waste products and that I have to look into. I was just made aware of that today. You, you seem obviously excited by what you've seen here today. Why, why the excitement? Well, I've been involved for about a year and a half and when I saw the kinds of removals they were getting, not with this sand, but with Athabasca oil sands, I said, I've never seen that before. With a completely different system than the Clark hot water. This has just uh, enhanced my uh, technical excitement because this sand is different from the oil sands from Port Murray in that this is what's called a bitumen wet sand. In Port Murray, we have a water wet with bitumen surrounding water. So for this to work so well in what's called a bitumen wet, where the bitumen is on the sand and attached, that's very exciting. Uh, the Clark process would likely not work in this material, from all the information I know. From a, from a scientific point of view, anything else that you would like to say about this product? Well, it's a, it's a incremental, a major incremental step forward. And if we can prove it out technically and economically, it could have very uh, profound uh, impact on the industry. I, I'm speaking of the oil sands industry in Canada, and of course it will have profound in, uh, impact here in the U.S. and the Utah sands and other parts of the world where there are oil sands. And there's large reserves all over the world. All right, in, term, in terms of access to those reserves, I've heard some other folks talk about that, I mean, it's just 
we're, we're in the tip of the eye. There's, you know, it's what we see. We know the oil sands are there. Mm -hmm. This just represents another opportunity to get at those known reserves. That's right. And the reserves are phenomenal. The reserves in, uh, in Canada, in the Canadian uh, oil sands, are second only to Saudi Arabia. Uh, they're more than what's in Iraq in terms of the proven reserves. And this kind of a process allows for going after smaller, richer deposits that are not uh, amenable to open pit mining. Because if we can develop a downhole technique using this material and some of the technologies, then it opens up a whole other part of the reserve to uh, production at, at very high rates of bitumen recovery. Thank you. Okay.